A decline in funding for water, sanitation and hygiene has created a challenge in meeting the needs of a growing population, specifically in schools for the district of Tororo. Sanitation blocks are often inadequate with the latrine stands to student ratio insufficient to its demand. Tororo's Rock High School is a prime example where insufficient access to proper sanitation posed a challenge in creating an environment conducive to maximizing a child's educational potential. The pit latrines had few stanzas. This led to loss of time, which, some, which also led to the delay in classes. And this delay in classes also made us to perform poorly. The smell was not all that good. So that in, by the time you enter and you come out, you come when all of you are smelling. And flies were also too much. One of the challenges that the girl child faced when before the coming of the bilateral trains is the dispose of the pads. Like the girls, a girl child was affected when she was in the periods. She was forced to go back home to change the pad before coming to school. That's miss, she used to miss lessons. Me, I think people, some people used to miss coming to school because they're not given enough privacy. By them not coming to school, they missed a lot in class and their performance declined. In 2013, UNICEF supported the construction of a biolatrine intervention, providing two sanitation blocks of 18 stances for the students of Rock High School in Tororo District. Providing the, the latrines having enough stances, uh, that is 18 in number for the boys, it has saved us from lining up, which wastes a lot of time and it gives us more time to stay in classes and read our books. And we have got a system that provides the water to clear out the waste that is deposited into the system. And this enables the latrines to, to remain clean and free of the bad smell. Annually we would spend 50, uh, 30 million, 15 for boys, 15 million for girls' latrines. But now, it's no more because we now have a facility that we feel will last for the next 50 years. The biogas produced from the biolatrines provides an eco-friendly and cost-effective method for cooking and the fecal sludge acts as organic manure for growing vegetables to improve student nutrition. But now the rate at which the firewood is being brought has reduced. Biogas is helping us to cook. Now that one has brought down the firewood consumption the impact on the environment is minimized. We have also realized that the, the dropout rates have reduced. The daily attendance of the girl child has also increased. Water is there in biogas latrine, so that when you've misused it, you can use the water and clean up the mess. Then buckets are also provided for the girls to put in their pads after use which has encouraged most people to stay at school. That's